hello 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 welcome back to my youtube channel in our last video we demystified the pi qgs boilerplate code if you haven't checked it out be sure to give it a watch as promised in our last video today we'll be focusing on streamlining our coding process how you ask we'll be doing that by setting up our vs code specifically for qgis and pi qgis development so if you're ready to make your pi qgis journey smoother and more efficient then stick with me to the very end. First things first, we must make sure we've got the latest version of VS Code installed. If you don't have it installed on your machine, then we first have to head over to the official, the VS Code official website. So we're going to do that by first typing VS Code in our search engine, and then we we'll click on the download link. That would move us to the the download page. So in our download page, you have the you have the options to download VS Code depending on, on the machine you're using. So if you are a Windows user, you can uh, click on it to install for Windows and you do the same for Linux and Mac OS. You just follow the, the normal installation process to get it installed on your machine. The next thing you have to do is create a folder on your machine. So I have a folder called, I have a folder called a PyQJS project. That's where I do all my PyQJS projects. So you can do that anywhere in your machine and then from then onwards we are going to click the explorer icon so in your case this this i this sidebar this entire sidebar will be to your left but i have made it such a way that it is to my right fine so you click on the explorer and then you click the open folder you navigate to where on your machine you created your folder and then you click on that folder so again in my case I created it on the PyQGIS project folder. I'll click on the PyQGIS, click on select folder to open my VS Code workspace. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to install the Python extension. So again, you click on the icon, the extension icon, and in the search bar, you type Python. Search for Python. Good. Um, you will now have our Python extension. So, as we can see, there's an extension for Microsoft. It comes with IntelliSense. So, it uses PyLance as IntelliSense. It gives us LinkedIn and some debugging features. So, you install it. I already have mine installed, so I don't have to do that. So, it do, you install it to give you the autocomplete, the IntelliSense that you need for almost all your Python development. But that is going to be separate from our PyQGI is autocomplete because right now the way you'll be installing your Python libraries is not the same way you're going to you are going to install your PyQGS libraries. You already have your PyQGS installed on your machine. So what we are going to do is that we are going to point our VS code to the folder in our machine where QGIS and PyQGIS libraries live so that it will then give us autocomplete. So in order to begin with setting up our VS Code to enable PyQGIS autocomplete, we have to first open our command palette. And we do that by first pressing Control Shift plus P. So Control Shift P, you press all of them together to open your uh, your command palette. Or you can, another way of doing it is going to your settings and then you go to command palette to open your command palette window. So on the window, you can type open workspace settings, All right? Open workspace settings, GeoJSON. So you click on that to open the GeoJSON file. For your case, it might be empty. So if it is empty, forget about all this. What we are going to be focusing on are these two lines of code. We are first going to set up our Python autocomplete extra path. So we do that by typing Python and then we have this line with a square bracket. So what, that, what what does this command mean? So what this command does is that it tells VS Code to import all libraries from the paths listed in the square brackets for autocomplete. We are going to type in the path. So in this case, the path, in my case, the path is, is going to be uh, it's, it's going to be my C drive in my program files folder 
in my QGIS, your version might differ, right? So in my QGIS, in, in my particular QGIS folder, in the apps folder, in the QGIS LTR, that means, that, that means a long-term release. So you might have just the QGIS, the, just the normal QGIS. I have the long-term release installed. So if you have the normal QGIS, it's just going to be QGIS. But if you have the long-term release, it's going to be QGIS long-term release and the Python folder. So it's saying that it's telling VS Code, look into the QGIS Python folder. That will be the, the things that we'll be using for our PyQGIS development. So that's what it's going to do. So I'm going to copy mine here and I'm going to paste it in the square brackets, right? So you might have more than one path that you want VS Code to extract this autocomplete feature from. So if you have just, all you have to do is just add the comma and then add an, another path to it. So we can paste another path to it. Now it's giving me an error because I'm duplicating the same path. But yes, that's how it works. So with that, with that autocomplete is now working in our VS Code. If for some reason it doesn't work for you, please comment below and I'll, I'll try to assist you to find a solution together. So our, the next thing I'm going to do is that we're going to create a default interpreter. If you, you remember our video on how to set up QGIS on Windows, we learned how to create a Python executable file and we named it Python 3 QGIS. If you haven't watched that video, please follow that video and see how we did that. All right, so we are going to then put comma here and then we are going to type Python and then right now, instead of using the normal Python, we are going to use the Python executable that we created purposely for our PyQGIS development. So what it does is that whenever you, are, whenever you run your code, VS Code is going to run your code with a Python executable from our QGIS file. If it sounds um, compli a bit complicated, you don't, don't worry about it. But no, that it is important in your development in order to make your development smoother and, and, and efficient for you. Right? So again, in my case, it, it is in the, for, uh, the programs file folder. It is in my QGIS folder. Again, yours, your QGIS version might be different from mine. So you have to check your your, your system to know which version that you have. The apps, the Python 3.9 and pointing to our executable. With these two lines of code, we now have our QGIS autocomplete installed in our system. For those of you that you are wondering how exactly did we know which path to go to to find our QGIS executable or our Python folder. Um, we have to first go to our QGIS software. If you want to confirm where your path location is on your system, right? You first open your, your QGIS software. You go to plugins. We go to Python console. And after our Python console has opened, we type sys.path. sys.path. You press enter. And it gives you all the paths on your system. As you can see, we have the our C drive, we have the our program one. It sort of abbreviates it. It has sort of abbreviated it for us. We have our QGIS um, folder with our, our particular version. We have the app QGIS LTR and then our Python. So you can follow this path. That will take you to the folder in which your your QGIS Python folder is located on your on your system. So that's how you do it. So after you've done all that, you technically now have a PyQGS autocomplete on your system. So hooray, you can give yourself a round of applause for, for doing that. Um, so the next thing we are going to do is we are going to create a folder. We are going to create a file, sorry, on our VS Code. So if you want to create a file, you come here, right? And then you click on it to create a new file. I've already done that. So you can name your file anything, but it's, so it's all, it always has to end with the py so i have my main the py for it it has to be the py for it to register as python after you've done that we when we start typing from qgis see it starts giving me autocomplete complete import you see 
I start getting auto complete. It probably be kill G, kill just, or I can let me say, um, from killgenerals.call imports. As you can see, I'm getting real life auto completes kill just application, and just like that, I have my auto complete on my system. If you followed me so far, it means yours is also working. If for some reason you cannot get your autocomplete to work, then please hit me up down in the comments below. I'll get to you as soon as I can, and then we'll try to uh, come up with a, a solution to your problem. So with that, the next thing we are going to be learning is creating a boilerplate snippet. So in order to create a boilerplate snippet, we'll first have to once again open our command palette. So again, control shift plus P to open our command palette. So in the search bar, we're going this time. I'm going to be typing. We we'll type configure user snippets. We we'll click on that, and then we will come to Python, Python the JSON. So we we'll click on the Python dot JSON to open our field. You might have this in your file. That will be what you'll see in your file. So you can either comment it out or you can remove it altogether. It doesn't really matter. Instead of like typing all this, I'll have this thing pasted in there. The description below so all you have to do is just copy and paste this here so after you copy and paste it you save before we move back to the our main uh, file to try out the the boilerplate what we have to realize is that here we have there was name called prefix and our prefix we've put in a pyqgis boilerplate you have to take note of this right this is what we'll be using to call our boiler our boilerplate code so when we go when we head back to our main folder let's remove what we have here right and then i start typing pi qgis boilerplate you see our I, and i have an auto complete with the pi qgis boilerplate with our code when you type enter it then generates our snippet right it, it generates the boilerplate for you so that you don't have to keep typing the same boilerplate Whenever you are writing your Py, your PyQGIS script, you just have it installed in your system. Whenever you want to call it, all you have to do is type PyQGIS and then, you know, enter and then you have it in your, on your system. This concludes the steps for setting up our, uh, our VS Code to enhance our PyQGIS coding experience. I hope this sets you up for, for many smooth coding sessions ahead. If you found this helpful, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to um, your friends and family and even your enemies. In our next videos, we will explore how to use vector layers in packages in great detail. So stay tuned for that. And as always, happy learning. Bye.